I am buzzing about this. Right, we've just unboxed everything slash unwrapped. Let's get going. So we're gonna be starting off with this. What's that card name? This is Wonder Vanishing Cream Primer. It's like a moussey kind of texture. Oh my god, it's squinchy. Squinchy. <laughs> I've got the state of me, by the way. It smells nice. I've already got my senses back here. I can't lie to you. Aww. Silky smooth retexturizing primer that vanishes lines and pores to create a beautifully balanced base. It's like really smooth texture. Quite thick. Feels luxurious. This is one of the more expensive items from the MUA makeup brand. This was five pound, but I can kind of tell it's like more still, higher end. Yeah, but it's still higher end nice. of like a low brown. But I mean, five pound for a primer. I'd wear that by itself. That's really nice. Just mattifies your face and yeah. kind of. It mm. does smell nice, doesn't it? Yeah. That rosy. Yeah. That rose water. Mmm. Literally. Very, Very nice. nice. Off to a good start. Let's go check. For foundation, we had a little bit of a dilemma, didn't we? The darker shades were sold out, so we went for a medium tone, which is more my tone. And then we got a. Custom colour foundation mixer. I'm just gonna be adding some of this because Which, I'm a little bit darker. We're not new to that though, we do do that. Do do. 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 This darkener cut me in three shades and this is the medium one. That's quite thick, but <clears throat> we'll see when we apply. That's good. This is in the shade Natural Ivory. So they're both four pounds. Mm, the colour's perfect for me. I'd say it's medium to full coverage. I think it looks lightweight. Yeah, it looks like skin a lot, which I love about foundations when you don't look like you're yeah. just caked, mm -hmm. you know? No, I like it. That's one layer and I'm really happy with that. Still dewy. Mmm, that is nice. So guys, I would recommend <laughs> this mixer. It's, um, I like the way it doesn't make it like grey tone. Yeah, it's a nice tone actually. Mm. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be going on to is the colour correcting palette and I'm actually buzzing with um, MUA's like selection of palettes. They mm. had this colour correcting palette in three shades, which is bum diggity dum. And I'm a big fan, if you guys have been watching us, I have the pink um, colour correcting concealer, which is so good and I know that's good so I'm hoping that the palette will be just the same and I think it's so cute. <laughs> Yellow brightens and conceals purple undertones. Green neutralizes and reduces redness and peach softens dark circles. So it doesn't really say anything about the darker shades so maybe you can just use them for contour anyway. I'm going to use the peachy one. Same because dark circle city. We're both going in with this shade which is like peachy. I'm hoping this is like the concealer tube that I have. I might try the yellow, only because it says it gets rid of like purple one shines. I feel like that's what dark circles are. You can mix them, it says. Okay. They're really creamy. Mm -hmm. Blend out really nice. I feel like you could get away with not wearing concealer <clears throat> if you wanted to look more no makeup makeup. So then the concealer <clears throat> shades are, I saw that somewhere. Mm. Natural and almond. Oh yeah. Natural is one I was going to be using, and I'm going to go with almond, which is a little bit darker. And I think there was one more darker than this. Yeah, I really like the concealers that I like this kind of applicator. Quite watery. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I like the colour of this. Yeah, I like the colour of this. I've never tried it like seeing a concealer like this. It's got coverage, but it's not cakey at all. Um, light coverage. Yeah, I would say it's very light coverage. I don't know if it will be buildable. Mm. I mean, I really struggle with concealers because I've got the whole, don't want it to be cakey, mm -hmm. but then I've got the whole, I want it to cover my circles. Oh. Yeah, it's really hard for me to judge a concealer until I've powdered. So I'm not gonna say much until I have, except for the fact that it's quite lightweight. Like if you have freckles, I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to see them. Mm. And the foundation. Yeah. But I do like that on an everyday basis. Yeah, like this would be perfect for kids that still go to school. Uh huh. Still mm -hmm. looks like your skin. Yeah, nothing's really caking at the moment and like piling up. 
She's cute. This is another creamy contouring. Um, it's actually called Cover and Conceal, but these are the kind of shades we'd use for contouring. So, let me open it. And then also we've got the colour correcting palette which we just used, which has, I'd say two contour shades at the bottom. So we liked this one because it's got a really nice like grey tone, which is really nice for a natural contour. And then this would be nice to like sharpen it up. So let's have a go. This one was four pounds. Very creamy. Hmm. That's a nice grey colour. I feel like it's sliding on my face so easily. Like, will it slide off so easily? Hmm. Oh. Love it. Hmm. What one are you using? Using the bit of both. Okay. Hmm. That's cute. Again, this is so good for like kids that want to go to school, young girls, because it's so natural. Mm. And like, we all like to give the illusion that we've got an amazing skin, so. I think that one way I'd literally sum it up is it's the natural. Like the colors, they've, they've literally nailed the tones. Mm. They look so real. Cute. Yeah, I like. So for powder, we've actually picked up two because oh, there yeah. was two and we just didn't really... Right, this one is, looks like this, and it's called Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder, which sounds nice. And then this is Matte Perfect Loose Powder with Vitamin A, E and Jojo Bar. <laughs> Jojoba. Oh, who's that? It's not a person. <laughs> you get it out and Joe pops out. It's like a... Um, it's in your hair, I think. But, so this one's like really wet, and then this one's a bit more skin tone. Yeah, see, we, this is the first one we saw, and I was like a bit worried because I'm quite fair that it was going to like dull down my under eye. So, I usually go for white, but white sometimes flashbacks. So, we thought let's get both and put it to the test. Oh my god, put your finger in it. It feels like there's nothing there. That's, it's literally icing sugar. Madness. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. Well, I'm gonna help you guys out. I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna use both. So I'm pretty sure this come in one shade, but it does look quite dark. So I wouldn't recommend fair people actually using this. I think that's perfect for your skin color. Really? I just have the feeling it will blend out to nothing. Like it'll, the color will go. Let me watch. Okay. Or are you gonna leave it there? I'm gonna leave it there for a sec. And I'm just gonna, I, like, I feel like I'm gonna like this, so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna put it. Does it feel more legit? So this side's white, and then this side's the more yellow tone. So we don't see about that. Yeah, see that's put no colour on. And it's mattified, so as long as there's no flashback, I like this powder. Hmm. What? I don't think I'm loving that. What the? It's like sticking. So, I'm gonna get all up in your grill. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see the difference, but this side I've used Skin Define. What are we gonna describe that as, Elle? Yellow. Yellow. And I'm, I don't think I like it. It's like separated Colour the foundation fine. around my nose and under my eyes a bit funny. And then this side's the white one, which I do prefer, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not loving. So this is a translucent pressed powder, which I don't usually ever use. Lightweight powder that creates a smooth, shine-free finish. So this is just a skin color, but it's translucent. Oh, it's very powdery. Yeah, it's very, um, got fallout. Right, I, feel I just feel so pale, mm. like it's a ridiculous. We've got one powder bronzer. bronzer. Which, if this ain't good, I'm going back in with contour. I don't care what the rules are. Really? So the bronzer looks just like the setting powder. Whoops. What you going to do? Hmm. Pretty pigmented. Yeah. Colour's good. Colour's nice. Not orange, it's just like a nice tan. This was a pound, by the way. What? 
Mm -hmm. So that's obviously worked for both of our skin tones as well, which is amazing. So far, I'm going to be honest, what is bugging me? I feel like the concealer didn't do much for me. Let's carry on. <coughs> so it says three in one pencil powder and spoolie for ultimate brow grooming shape and definition. It's got a pencil on one side. Which is like quite thick. I compare this to like sleek. Have one like this, don't know. I literally can't find the price. Three and one. Four pounds. We're gonna be also doing our eyes, which this palette is so pretty. And oh my god, they've all got names. What? All the colours have names. Do you know how happy that makes me? I love it when they have names. This is the palette. I don't know about you, but it looks cute to me. Mm. Yeah. Let's do it. They have a lot of fallouts, honey. Oh, I'm not mad at this brow pencil. You're not? No. I quite like it. It's quite waxy, so I feel like it kind of sets them. So I've just used light on my lid, and then I'm using warmth on my, in my crease. Warmth, I feel like all transition colors are like warmth, aren't they? I mean, this isn't the most pigmented palette ever, but I mean, you're paying about four pound for it, so. How much was the palette? Do we know? <laughs> this was eight pound. Okay, so it's the most expensive item. This is the most expensive item, but you are getting five, 10, 15, 20, 25 shades. So Elle always goes for a really goldy browny eye, so I'm gonna steal that from her so she can't do it for once. So these are some of the swatches of this palette. These are just three that caught my eye, which are a bit shimmery and glittery and cute. So, I'm not mad at them. So with this brow pencil, it's actually taken me ages to do my eyebrows because I don't really like brow pencils that are, I'll try and show you. So I have been using the Benefit Precisely Brow and it's much more precise. No pun intended there, hun. And it's like literally like a tiny little thing and this is kind of like got loads of different sides to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'd have to have thick brows. If you had really thin and precise and you like sharp eyebrows, this ain't gonna be your friend. I don't think it's gonna be your friend. They're not bad. They're not the best. They're not the worst. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I think I'm gonna use my finger. <gasps> well, dude. That is gorgeous. Nice. I feel like Cleopatra. Yeah. Do you think? Mm. Okay, so I'm going to start my eyes as well. Hmm, cute. Really nice. And you did like one swipe. Cute. Guys, if you wonder why I'm doing my finger, sometimes I just feel like it starts more pigmented with your finger because you've got like your natural moisture in your finger. The warmth. Yeah, and I like to feel a bit sweaty. A natural fix plus. A natural fix plus running through my veins. <laughs> oh my God, I literally love that gold. That is a joke. But I feel like, Gold's not that hard to smash, you know? Yeah, there's loads of nice golds out there. But at the same time, cheap. Good. So this is a nice palette for, I'd say, like, beginners. Oh, I'm not nice. that advanced. Yeah, if you've got fireworks that's <laughs> not coming up, great palette. So if you're, like, a beginner, you've kind of got, like, your transition colours. You've got some simple, like, pinky tones, which is a nice little girly colour. You've got some really subtle colours and then you've got some Bam Bam Shackalam. Have a little bit of ham. Rack of lamb. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> so you can, um, you know, test your boundaries and stuff. So I feel like this is your boundary. I'm going in with Sizzle, which is this like peachy... Yeah. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Okay. Watch. Hello, Sizzle. You're sizzling. There's a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers. Mm. That's quite hard to find. And I'm going in with... Blush. That sounds promising. I think I'm done with eyes. I like that gold. I'm, I'm just gonna go I'll back to see you in gold. gold. Well, I've got gold hair, so like, you'd think I would. <gasps> my hair's quite gold, isn't it? You are. All right, let's brush these brows. I'm livid that we forgot about, um... Livid. Do you know how many people found that funny you were talking about that in our video? Really? Yeah. What, that? They were so like, livid. livid. That's hilarious. Like, what? Should we bring out a top that says livid? Yeah, a bit livid, we forgot about brow gel, but what are you going to do? So this is the MUA Fix and Mist, which we'll obviously use at the end, and it's a spray. So I'm going to wet my brush with this like I would with Fix Plus and pick up the pigment. That has got a nice spray on it. <gasps> I was going to say, why is it blending up pink? I've got swatches on my finger. <laughs> my eyebrow is pink. 
Okay, so I've just done one side of my eyeliner using the I Define Soft Tip Felt Liner, and I literally love it. Mm. Very precise. It's so precise. If you like a f pen liner, this is going to be your gal. I'm not sure what was the last thing I said, but I've used Energy, which is this like metallic coral all over my lid, and I am living for it, I'm not gonna lie. Do I have to do eyeliner? No. Cause I feel like I don't want to. So I'm gonna go on some mascara. Honestly, this is so precise. I love it so much. So for mascara, we have this one. When we were choosing, I was like, Sid, what do you think of this one? And I was like testing them all out. She's like, yeah, mascara's mascara. I literally couldn't tell us about mascara. Um, and this is the I Define Lengthening Mascara. And I just liked the wand, which is like, Plastic, you could say it's not like a brush. This is three pounds lengthening. It's yeah. really nice. If you guys are like, ew, are they using the same mascara? Guys, we can kill us. So this blush is really tiny and really cute. It kind of reminded me of the shade Melba by Mac. This was a pound. So it's like this. This is a great mascara. It really does lengthen. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Look at the difference. Mm -hmm. This is called Blusher Bon Bon. Cute! Bon bon. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using the liner Caramel Nugget. Nougat. Nougat. <laughs> nugget. <laughs> Chicken Nugget. Nougat. nougat. I only pronounce Nugget though. Uh, not really. It's quite a nice colour. There's a sharpener on the end, which is cute. What's the formula like? Quite creamy. Oh, that's pigmented. Crap. Oh yeah, I've got to tell you. Thanks. And then this lipstick is literally life. We've already swatched this in the shop because basically the colour on the bottom is nothing like the colour in the tube, you know? Mm. That is divine detail we have a liquid lipstick and a lipstick bullet which are literally so cute in colors and this is the shade eight like e i g h they're all numbers but they're spelled out what i actually like the the, the sound of word numbers that like spelled out mm -hmm. like people have the names. names like nine i quite like eight no it sounds actually eight m Oh yeah, imagine it. Where's eight? She ate him. She's just eating. So these have got a really nice name. They're called MUA Lux. MUA Lux, which sounds really luxurious. And these are, the lip liner was one pound and lipstick bullets are three pound. Okay, I'm gonna use this black lip with lipstick then. Oh, this is so nice. This is quite matte finish. So I'm gonna um, be a babe and swatch everything for you. I'm going in with Tranquility. So you're gonna be like, what the hell to my swatches? This one at the bottom is number 10, the lipstick. This one is Tranquility in liquid lipstick. This middle one is number eight in lipstick. And then this one is Elegance in liquid lipstick. So they're cute. What we do <gasps> need to do, highlight? Highlight. So this highlight we've got is called Undress Your Skin. And it is iridescent gold, which, let's have a minute. This is a shimmer highlight, which is a balm, which I'm going to use. So this is nice. It's quite yellowy. I might be a bit pale for. This is cute. Very natural. I feel like we should have used opposite. Like, we, I should have used that one. This is, mm, it's too yellowy for me. Love a yellow. Oh yeah, this is more me. Mm. Yes, this highlight's good. I'm like, feel a minute. Oh, uh, whoops. What's that? Let's go in with this bad boy then. This is the MUA Pro Base Fix and Mist, which I've used before. I can't lie to you. And to me, a setting spray is a setting spray. So, how good is this brown that? Mm. I feel like we should give a summary and then pick our favourite and least favourite product. For me, I'm not covered enough. Okay. Like, I feel like I said the foundation was medium to full coverage, but like, I feel like it's light. 
Mm -hmm. But it's thick, it's weird. Like when you pump it, you feel like it's gonna be really thick, but when you blend it, it blends out, out to not much. it blends out to not much, which is nice. I don't know, I don't, I'm not looking really like this is the best makeup I've ever worn, obviously not. But I'm not hating on it, I mean, I'm not saying I hate anything about it. You haven't got mascara on. Give us a So I've done like Coralie, which I've never done before. I've got loads of colours like this, but I've never actually done them on myself. And it's just cute with a nude lip and yeah. This is me. I mean, I don't love and I don't hate, you know? I think it's good. Thank you. Overall, I'm really impressed with this brand. The most expensive thing was £8, the cheapest was £1. We bought 24 items from MUA and the price was £55. And That's we nice. got stuff in twos, so you guys could definitely do a full face for about £25, I'd say. Yeah. And if you didn't include a palette, if you're not into eyes, you can do a full face for under £20, which is amazing. Yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's... The more I look at it, the more I like it. I think because I've done, like, a glam... Not glam, but, like, a subtle glam eye mm -hmm. and stuff... I'm thinking I wish the coverage was like full, was more yeah. full coverage. Okay. Like if I'd done like just my normal wing liner, I could probably be like, oh I love it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's do flashback. Moment of truth. I don't think there's any flashback. I think no. I'm pale as hell. So what we're gonna do now, which we do after like, first impressions video, we're gonna choose our favourite product and our least favourite product. <laughs> my least favourite product was the concealer. I feel like, I don't know, like I don't hate it, I just feel like I loved everything else a lot more than this. It didn't do much for me. The velvet lip lacquers nice. are so nice, that's my favourite I'd say. And my least favourite is the Skin Define ah, Powder. I have nothing to say about that because I don't know about it. And that. just say I've, I've heard bad things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and then I don't really love this either. But then I really like the primer, I really like the highlight, and I also really like this bronzer. I really like the foundation. Yeah, but the dark one was good as well. Guys, this was successful. It was I think successful. so. I think we worked here. I think mm -hmm. we did well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not heard about this brand, MUA, it's amazing, very affordable. I don't know if it's just in the UK. Point. We just want to say a little disclaimer, we've not been sponsored or been asked to do anything about this brand. We just wanted to do a video for our younger audience because we know a lot of you are still at school and need something more affordable as you don't have jobs. And it was a hit! It was a hit! Smashed it! If you guys really like this video, <laughs> don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up and tell us any more brands that you'd like us to try out. We are... We just really like doing this, don't yeah, we? Yeah, 100%. We love giving you guys our feedback, and obviously, as there's two of us, you get two, two in one. No, two, two, two opinions. Yeah. And like two different skin types, you know what I mean? Mm. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. It was nice to meet you, and we will see you soon. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was jokes. What? Nice to meet you. <laughs>